Hey there, this is Santi, and today I want to talk about outliners. If it's possible, particularly if it's possible to use an outliner inside of Obsidian. The answer is yes, that's a spoiler alert, but the cool thing is that there is a plugin in Obsidian, a community plugin called Outliner, uh, that allows us to actually create really cool outlines inside of Obsidian. I'll show you that in a second, but first, what is an outliner, right? You might be familiar or you might even use or have used something like Rome Research which is the most popular outliner. There's tons of things you can do with it and it's really powerful. But of course, you don't store it in local files. You don't get to own your nodes, which is something that is big for me. If you listen to the things I say in this, in this YouTube channel, I really like the idea that Obsidian allows us to own our files, put it in our computer, be responsible for them. And that's where I believe an amazing alternative like Logseek, which is the one that I use, really shines at. Like this allows us to own our files, so we get to own our files, but we also have all the functionality, or at least most of it, from ROM research. So the cool thing about Logseek is that you can use the same files that you're using Obsidian to create an outline. So if you really want to get into like the power features of an outliner, I highly recommend Logseek. And that comes with a bit of an announcement that I'll be making a Logseek course soon. I will be releasing it soon, so keep an eye for that. But with all of that said, let's see if it's possible to create an outliner or you know, to create a powerful outline inside of Obsidian, right? So let me just show you what that looks like. So just as an example, here I have a note in Obsidian about photography equipment, a passion of mine, and I'm just gonna outline tons of things. Now this is sped up, of course, but you can like indent, use these indentations and some really cool features that I'm gonna show you in a second. But it, this just shows that outlining in Obsidian is now possible. Now in Obsidian, it was kind of already possible to do this by, you know, pressing tab to, to do an indentation and shift tab the same way any outliner works, but it wasn't powerful enough until this outliner, outliner plugin came along. It's called Outliner, but it's a community plugin in Obsidian. And as you can see in here, if you're already familiar with outliners, we have some advanced functionality such as, well, first we can collapse things. That's something that Obsidian already offers but we can also zoom into things. So if I click in here, we're only gonna see that context. If I go to types of tripods, but then I want to see only travel tripods, here we can see only the pros and cons, and in the top, we can see the hierarchy that this particular bullet point belongs to, right? So types of tripods, I can go back there, now I can see more context, or I can go and zoom further into any other specific section, right? And if I want to go back to the main note, I can just click in here, and there we go. So Overall, using an outliner in Obsidian, I think is an amazing idea. One of two things, one of two reasons why I think it's a good idea to start using outliners in Obsidian. First is because then you can manage interactions and you can kind of like communicate between something like Logseek that also uses a markdown file and you can manipulate that file in Obsidian or the other way around, which to me that is the biggest benefit, but also because you might not have a, an outliner tool that you want to use. Maybe you want to keep everything in Obsidian or most things in Obsidian. And at some point you will see like, ah, oh, this would be good to just outline. Like it's the best way I can represent these ideas. So being able to do that in Obsidian, I think is a huge advantage. So with that said, let me show you how to set up the plugin real quick. So here in Obsidian, we would go to the settings and then we would go to community plugins where we can browse. And now we can just search for, let me spell that, outliner, there we go. And now we can install it just like that, right? We would give it a second and then we can enable it. And from there, you will see that it's already working. But if you don't see these lines, it's because this is a CSS snippet. This is a hack that you can do to make things look cooler. But if you don't have that, you can simply go to the settings. I did that with command comma or control comma or from here. And now you can scroll down. As you can see, I have tons of plugins, uh, outliner, and you can toggle this one on. There you go. And once you have that one, you will see the lines and you will see these bullet points. This is what the plugin is doing just to make it a bit more visually appealing and all the functionality will work whether you want to use it like this or if you want to customize it yourself with CSS snippets. So from here, all the functionality that I previously showed you, such as zooming in, will work. Again, whether you have that turned on or off, let me just turn it off just to show you. Yeah, there we go. If we customize it like this, I have it so that I have different colors for the lines and the bullet points, but I can still zoom into specific sections in the same way, which is really cool. I really like using it like this as well. 
So, okay, there were tons of things to discuss on how to set things up properly, how to use certain things, how to understand certain concepts in an outliner. So I put all of that in my Obscene and Online course. I'm sorry I couldn't share it here, to be honest. I need to pay rent, I hope you understand. And I really want to thank those who have gotten the course so far. So this is a bit of an extra thank you of like this series of tutorials of how to use the outliner plugin and how to use certain concepts of outlining in Obsidian. So do check out my course for that if you're interested. And here it is. And also, if you want to customize things the way I showed you so that you can have different colors of lines, I also teach that in the course. There's a specific section where you can see CSS snippets. This one helps you understand how you can better use the CSS hacks in order to achieve certain functionality, such as the one that I showed you, where you can have different colors of the lines, right? That is optional though, but it's a cool thing to have. So yeah, I do appreciate if you check out the course. That is the best way you can support this channel. That is how you can pay me, pay me, help me pay rent. And also how you can really help me support this YouTube channel and keep making videos that I hope you enjoy, right? So with that said, let's just have a bit of a quick overview of why an outliner in Obsidian is a great idea, right? So like I said, you know, number one, you can interact with amazing applications like Logseek. And number two, you can really make it so that Obsidian is a bit more of a complete, very feature packed package where you can just do different types of things. Just the ability to be able to have this zooming functionality where you can switch the context of things, I think is amazing in Obsidian. So being able to use an outliner in Obsidian can help you really see things in different ways, organize information in ways that weren't currently possible before this plugin. So a huge shout out to the creator of this plugin. This is really making Obsidian so much better in my opinion. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, a bit of an overview and I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any other questions or anything. Feel free to comment down below this video. <laughs> and yeah, do check it out. Do check out the plugin and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye.